the fighter with the PhD, the number one ranked heavyweight contender in the world, the former WBO world heavyweight champion, Dr. Iron Fist, Vitali Klitschko. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing white with red letters and officially weighing in at 256 and one half pounds. In 1998, he captured Olympic gold and now, as a professional, he has a record of 40 victories, including 31 knockouts against two defeats with one draw. And by way of rematch, he is one of the few fighters in boxing history to have defeated every opponent he has ever faced. From London, England, the linear, legitimate, universally recognized, undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Lennox Lewis. Okay, gentlemen, I've given you instructions in the dressing room. I want a good, clean fight. Listen to my commands, shake hands, and await the bell. Good luck to both of you. Now, Lennox Lewis' body is dry. What about Vitaly, George? No wetter. Lennox Lewis, the champion who has the tendency to be cold as, as it is, his body is dry. And, and Klitschko doesn't look all that much better warmed up That's than Lennox. That's true. That's true. I don't know what that will mean, but I do know that this fight as an event was upgraded from business class to first class when Klitschko became a part of it. Will it be upgraded? as a fight. He entered to the strains of the Eagles Hotel California. So will it be heaven or will it be hell? For Vitaly Klitschko, most critics think it will be hell. And they look like John L. Sullivan and James J. Corbett before Lennox comes forward and lands the right hand. Lennox Lewis is not an effective aggressor. He likes to catch you missing him and catch you with one. And he's not jumping around. He likes to jump in and out. Although no his football. trainer, Emmanuel Stewart, insists, George Foreman, that when faced with taller fighters, he has gone forward and been the aggressor. That's one of the things Emmanuel expects tonight. That's not his stuff. He likes to bounce. He just did a little bounce there. Both guys are getting low. No one is taking advantage of the height. And both are fighters who tend to use their height to their advantage and fight behind the high guard. Vitaly trying to land a looping right hand over the top. Lewis doesn't believe that Klitschko can improvise. Believes that Klitschko must be set up and in position to have a chance to land punches. You see, when two tall guys get in the ring, it calls for a lot of clutching because nobody has room to move out of the way. One move and they're together. Klitschko is being much more aggressive than uh, experts thought he would be. It was thought that he would try to fight a more tactical fight. Let's go with the right. Lewis misses with the left. Let's go pawing with his punches, but throwing punches as Lewis has not gotten his jab going early. Lennox Lewis throughout his career has been indomitable when throwing more than 30 jabs per round. He's not going to reach 30 jabs in this round unless he speeds up the pace. George, why is Klitschko holding his left so low? Well, Lennox Lewis is not standing so high, as you see. They both start squatting after a while. When a guy's hand are that high, you just got to bring him a little low. Hard right hand by Klitschko, best punch of the round. Lennox Lewis is doing the old catching. He's standing right in the middle of the ring and using his shoulders now to catch shots. Now there's a good jab by Lewis to back Klitschko off. Another little right hand inside by Vitaly. And again, Lewis That's jabs jab. him backward. That's the jab that you've been waiting on. Lennox Lewis is starting to get a little effective with. And he's starting to get warmed up is what's really happening, George. Not so tentative anymore. Two good jabs by Lewis. Now there's a looping right hand that misses big. Lewis lands to end the round as
as we go to Vitalik Klitschko's corner where trainer Fritz Fedunik will be speaking German. Our interpreter is Jens Halleck. You are too close to him. Don't get too close to him. Stay away. Your punches are really good. Move more. Don't get too close to him. You hit him really, really good a couple of times. But you're putting a lot of pressure on him. He's not used to fight that much, okay? He's breathing heavy. Yeah, he's not used to fight this same pressure. Just keep the pressure on him. He's out. He's in your battlefield. Just keep the jab is working good. Did he hit him good? A looping left that didn't work, but a right that did. That second right hand, probably the most effective punch of a round in which, by CompuBox numbers, Klitschko threw 73 punches, landed 23. Lewis, 18 out of 39, got his jab going late in the round, as you saw. And now Lewis begins to jab Klitschko backward again. Well, Klitschko has got to get back and just counter that right, that jab, one time. Hard right hand landed by Klitschko, Lewis holds on. Just counter that left jab, because Lewis is throwing it out there, but he's dropping it low. Make him afraid to throw it if you cliff coat. Make him afraid of it. This is a far cry oh, from the Lennox oh, Lewis, step back, step who did back. a paint job on Mike Tyson in Memphis last year. He doesn't yet look sharp as he did in that fight. Well, he's got a different... Left hand lands for Klitschko. Lewis momentarily stunned by the little left. No, 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 no. I think that Lewis is quite surprised at the aggression of Klitschko. And Klitschko trying to launch the right hand again. This time, Lewis partially blocks it. Lewis just hasn't, just can't seem to wake up. You come in the ring dry. You catch a lot of shots before you can wake up. But this Klitschko guy, the fight is his. All he has to do is reach out and get it. With awkward short arm shots, he's beating Lewis to the punch. He rips him again with the right hand. Lewis momentarily wobbles. And now Lewis is still wobbling as the telly goes after him. He landed a really stiff, straight right hand that wobbled Lewis. Maybe Lewis knows what he's in with now, but it may be too late. Combinations for an increasingly confident Vitaly Klitschko. Straight right hand again. Now this is what a fight could tell off on Klitschko because that's a big heavy man he's pushing around. You throw those kind of heavy shots and you get tired yourself. Big left hand by Klitschko. Lewis wobbling again. Suddenly it looks as though Lennox may have made a fateful decision in choosing to take this fight with only two weeks' notice. Hard left hand by Lewis stops Klitschko in his tracks. That changes the flow. if he can make it out of this round. Let's go trying to land that right hand one more time. Lewis ducking and stumbling. They trade big right hands. Lewis gets the worst of it. This is Gary Ward on the highest level on the scale. Now all of this clutching and holding is going to have an effect on Clisco. That man is heavy, Lennox Lewis. And Lennox Lewis's left eye is beginning to swell, and there may be blood under the eye. The Tali Klitschko is roughing Lennox Lewis up as the second round begins to come down the stretch. There's a big rope over the eyes of Lewis, who staggers back to the corner. He's winning the fight. You've got to take it to him now, okay? You've got to experience in these big fights. You're getting hit setting out here trying to time him. Take it to him now. The left hook is working good. Just take it to him, and when you get through with every punch, punch push at him. You understand? Yeah. You, you have to cross the line. You have to box faster. You almost got him. You did it very, very well. You almost got him. Here's the big punch that changed that round. A straight right that got under the left of Lewis, it seemed. Lennox Lewis said that he didn't see any skill level in Klitschko. He's seeing something now. 
Lennox Lewis walking unevenly to the middle of the ring. As he goes after Klitschko, just as Emmanuel Stewart told him to do. Using the roughhouse tactic, roughhouse tactics that we might have expected him to use. Someone is bleeding pretty good there. Lennox Lewis under the left eye, and now Vitali bleeding by the left eye as well. And Vitali's cut is over the eye. Triple jab by Klitschko and a right hand to follow. Lewis can't stop him. There has never been a heavyweight championship between big men with this kind of intense action. Big left hook by Lewis, and another. Doesn't throw it all that often, landing both of those. Boy, that cut is bad. That cut is bad. Clisco is hurt. And he lands a huge right hand on Lewis. If he can just continue, he can win it. Long way to go in round three. Both One right hand. Have been hurt a lot. Left hook by Klitschko. Lewis again with a left hook over the top. Now he begins to jab away at Klitschko's badly damaged eye. Swinging right hand. It's just a pier six brawl in there, guys. Lance, who do you have in your corner to work on your eye? He can win this if he doesn't stop by the eyes. Too much blood coming out of the eyes. So far, Lewis has yet to land his big right hand. When will it come? Will it come? I think Lewis is taking the hardest shot. Big jab, forces Vitale back. And now, a hard right hand by Klitschko stops Lewis's rush. But Lennox Lewis has ended the fight now and much steadier on his feet than in the first two rounds. It's that blood, he see the blood, and he's not gonna be deterred now. Once you see an eye like that. He got the two best cut men in the sport in the eyes of many here. Joe Souza will be working on Vitaly Klitschko. He has saved Arturo Gatti's career several times. Al Gavin will be working on Lennox Lewis. Lewis. If you ask me, he's just not in shape. No, 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 please, please. He entered the fight not in good shape. Ten seconds, guys. So 256 meant what it sounded like. A complacent Lennox Lewis once again, but fighting his way into the fight, and Vitaly Klitschko's left eye is ripped up. Okay, we're calling time out to look at the cut. Wow. Can you go forward with that? Can you no with that? way. We have more time. We call time out. Ring doctor in Vitali's corner is Paul Wallace. That's a horrid gash. It looks like they've controlled that. There, I'll keep watching it. Okay, time in. Get to the side. You have like 15 more seconds. You have like 15 more seconds. You have like 15 more seconds. Punch! I said punch during the fight. You have to drink. You have to drink. You have to drink. Let's see if we can catch the punch. Right there. Right there. You saw the punch that started the blood flowing. If this is an epilogue not too much, not too much. to Lennox Lewis's career, it is some epilogue. Round four begins. All out war. Harold Letterman, how do you have it so far? Don't take long, Harold. I'm getting Jim two to one, 29-28. Vitaly Klitschko. I gave Vitaly the first two. Lennox Lewis definitely the third for the good right hands. They fall down together. Referee Lou Filippo is not going to rule this a knockdown. That's that heavy weight. Lennox Lewis, you keep leaning on you, it's just going to drop you down to the floor. Well, he's only eight pounds more than this guy.
Lewis trying to get in another right hand on Natalia's badly damaged eye. The Lewis comeback in round three was fueled by his landing 17 out of 28 jabs. Natalia misses with a right hand. Lewis barging forward with the jab. Telephone pole. All Lennox Lewis have to do now is stay on the right side. Clisco can't see him out of that eye, the left eye, I'm sorry. Stay on the left eye, he can't even see him on that side. And Lewis jabbing the eye, jabbing the eye. Beginning to regain some of his technical form. Both fighters very tired already. Lewis breathing with his mouth open. Big men have a difficulty fighting at this pace. I'm sorry, but the corner has got to take a good look at this guy's eye. I know it's a world heavyweight title match and all that, but a man has got to see for the rest of his life as well. Are you surprised they didn't stop it, George? I'm very surprised. I'm not surprised at all in a heavyweight championship fight. I think Klitschko is determined to redeem the Klitschko name in terms of his courage and his will. One and shot, he can do it, too. One right hand. Well, I'll tell you what. Win or lose, I don't think anybody's going to say he's heartless again. No, he's got heart. He's not even asking for pity. It's a long ways up there for Lennox Lewis trying to throw that right hand. That right hand landed for Klitschko. Lewis blocking that right hand. Vitaly still getting off four punches. And Lennox. Lewis taking advantage of the clinch to pound Vitaly to the belly. Sloppy left hook by Lewis. In close, he brings the right hand over the top and hits the cut again. Left hand right onto the damage die by Lewis. Round four coming to a close. Lewis appears to be really tired. This, we've never seen this Lennox Lewis before. All right, you're coming on good now. He still got that round, but you're coming on good. This man is getting tired. One thing, you're pushing him all the time now. Keep pushing your weight on him all while you're inside the picture. The left hook, if you ever catch him with the left hook, he's going to be going down. Don't stand still so much. You have to move more. Use your left hand more. More power in your left hand. And move quicker. Then we have a look at your eye. Avoid his right hand. And then you use your left hand very quick. And for the first time between rounds, a look in the eyes of Vitaly Klitschko that looked something like discouragement. Surely he knows the danger he's in with his eye that badly cut. But in the fourth round, Klitschko got off 66 punches to only 27 for Lewis. Boy, that is one small referee in there, I tell you. Stop, stop, stop. Klitschko has done an excellent job of staying away from that big overhand right of Lewis, but he's now being hit with some uppercuts inside. He's not afraid of Lennox Lewis. Every time the Lennox Lewis hit him with something, he hits him back. By Lewis. You heard Emmanuel Stewart saying that the left hook could be the punch that would put Vitaly away, and Lennox just landed a monster. But Vitaly comes back with his jab. Right hand staggers Klitschko momentarily. And good professional work by Lewis against the ribcage as Vitaly takes it, takes it, takes it, takes Seven, it, eight. and referee Lou Moret just looks on. I don't know how the referee can let that holding and hitting go on. Yeah, one punch, one hand is open, and you're allowed to do that, George. You cannot hold punching. and hit. If one guy's holding you, they have to break it. Lewis trying to land a haymaker. Oh. Natalie lands another right hand across the top. And pops Lewis twice break, with the jab. Break, break, the difference in energy level still significantly in favor of Vitaly Klitschko, but his eye begins to drain blood again. Lewis is there for him. All he has to do is just take it. 
Lewis leaning against the ropes as though he's all done in. Klitschko didn't bite. Didn't bite at all. Lennox Lewis is ready to be taken. Klitschko has got to suck it up and become heavyweight champ of the world. The conditions for an upset no, 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 no. were, uh, were obvious to everybody. Nobody knew whether Vitaly Klitschko had the stuff great, great, to great, pull great, it off. He can still do it. One good right hand, and Lennox Lewis is on the canvas. Well, Vitaly's certainly ahead on points, and the way he's throwing punches, he might stay that way. But can he finish the fight with that eye? Neither, to one, neither one looks like he could finish the fight, Jim. Now, okay, Lewis doesn't look like he's going to make it to the finish line just on sheer physical energy. But Lewis beginning to sharpen up his punches and landing at a higher and higher rate. You can't do it with the overhand right tonight. Neither guy can do it with overhand right. They got to come straight down the middle with straight right hand. Well, you got to be sharper than this to be good with the right hand. Lennox is just winging, looping haymakers. Crowd getting their money's worth. Let me see. Let me see your eye. Clean that up. Deep breath. Give him some water. It's not bleeding everywhere. You need a right uppercut if he's coming in here. Give him a little ah. iron. Clean that up for me. Breathe deep. Lean back. Ice. Give me some ice. With each passing round, the chance increases that Vitalik Klitschko will see his bid for the heavyweight championship end on that bad left eye cut while he's winning the fight on points. No, 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 no. Lennox Lewis is please, trying to please. do it all with one big right hand. His corner told him, throw the left hip hook. Just throw the right hand and come back with the hook. Between rounds, hard right hand by Vitaly Klitschko. Between rounds, every time the doctor goes into Vitaly's corner, they're pausing the clock. So as long as a minute and a half has been going by between rounds, and that's got to be a help to Lewis, as exhausted as he looks at the end of these rounds. Lennox Lewis is so tired that if Klitschko just hit him with a combination, he'll go down. Lewis flagrantly under conditioned for the fight, or so it would appear. And Vitaly trying to take advantage through a blinded left eye. Oh, what an uppercut. Oh, this is uppercut by Lewis. Klitschko holds on. He can no longer see. He's fighting on pure heart, Klitschko is now. Hey, guess what, guys? He can take a punch, too. And he's got heart. That was the kind of uppercut with which Lennox Lewis finished Michael Grant in Madison Square Garden. And he gets one back. Natalie with an uppercut of his own. Learning on the job. Lewis dabs him away. Good left took by Lewis. Solid blow. Lewis exhausted again. But strong enough to fend Vitali off inside. Lewis just has no respect for the power. Although the guys got hit, hitting him hard, he has no respect. He ought to have respect. He was wobbly in round two. But he's got no respect. He hasn't decided I'm going to duck and bounce and beat. And stay out of the way of harm. Stop, 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 stop. The belief of Lewis and his trainer, Emmanuel Stewart, is that Klitschko has never fought at a pace this feverish and that he can't go the distance. Oh, boy. It wasn't for that eye. 
it's Lewis who's having trouble with the pace. That's right. Oh, I can remember when 10 years ago when Evander Holyfield had the same feeling about Riddick Bowe and he wound up losing. It's all Lennox Lewis can do to stand up. Not because of Vitaly Klitschko's punches, but because of his own exhaustion. A few program reminders. This Tuesday, it's a new edition of Real Sports with Brian Gumbel. Among the stories, a continuing saga. One year after Ted Williams' death, the controversy surrounding the freezing of his body continues. Each Friday night, look for On the Record with Bob Costas. Bob's guests on this week's show include 300 game winner Roger Clemens and Arnold Schwarzenegger. July 12, World Championship Boxing returns with a rematch between welterweight champion Ricardo Mayorga and the man he unseated, Vernon Forrest. Also that night, Zab Judah faces Demarcus Corley. Top, top. And they're stopping the fight. They're stopping the fight as we get out of this promo to tell you that the fight has been stopped because of the damage to Vitaly Klitschko's eye. And Lennox Lewis, in spite of himself, has a successful defense of his heavyweight And fight. you know I'm happy because this guy showed he's got hard, he's tough, he can come back. But you blow your eye, that's the end of everything. That was a long awaited, they should have done that a little earlier. Klitschko, yeah. is, Klitschko is very upset that they've stopped the fight. <laughs> Yelling no, no, no. He didn't want the fight stopped. Who stopped the fight? Was it the commission or was it his corner? Harold Letterman. <laughs> okay, Larry. Dr. Paul Wallace, the chief physician here in California, looked at the cut, went to referee Lou Moret in the middle of the ring and advised Lou to stop the fight. Lou Moret went in his arms and it was all over. So it was referee Lou Moret stopping the fight on the advice of Dr. Paul Wallace. And Larry, you know, it was not one cut, it was two cuts. There are two cuts under that eye. Larry, to use one of your phrases from a past fight, isn't it fair to say tonight, Lewis wins the fight, Klitschko wins the event? I think, yes, it is, that he won the drama of the fight, and now he has restored the name of the Klitschkos. And he won the crowd as well. You heard the response to the stoppage, almost universal booing in the house. So Vitaly Klitschko bravely stakes his claim to the heavyweight championship and sees it fall short because of the tremendous damage to his left eye. Grotesque. And Lennox Lewis, despite being flagrantly under-conditioned for this assignment, is fortunate enough to hold on to his championship and get the 41st win of his career. You know what? I think it was the extra weight that saved him tonight because after being pounded by Klitschko so many rounds, he kept bumping him and taking the energy out of him. They're fighting now. Yep, there's a tussle in the ring. Let's see if we can hear what's happening. Back up, Wait, Mom. Hey, get him back in the corner. Get him back in the corner. The Klitschko's competitive spirits are boiling over. Both brothers seemingly eager to continue the combat. Now Vladimir is pulling Vitaly back to the ropes and saying, okay, we'll wait our turn. Just say excuse, man. And listen to the crowd response for Vitaly. A triumph of sorts for the Ukrainian giant who was so severely discounted by so many critics. Incidentally, he was leading on all three scorecards, 58-56 at the time of the stoppage. A lucky escape for Lennox Lewis. Let's take a look at how it all happened in round one. Vitaly Klitschko came out busier, more aggressive, and an obviously dry, not yet warmed up Lennox Lewis. Took a while to get it going. Finally got the jab going late in the round. By round two, Vitaly Klitschko's eye was already cut, and the blood was beginning to flow. Lennox Lewis landed a big right hand to cause the cut. 
By the time of the third round, Lewis was beginning to exploit the cut, and he made it more severe with that bomb over the top. Between rounds three and four, you wondered how the fight could continue, given the severity of the gash over Klitschko's eye. But he bravely fought on and continued to lead on the scorecards prior to the stoppage at the end of round six. All three judges scoring four rounds for Vitali and two rounds for Lennox Lewis, but Lewis gets the win by TKO. Let's go to Michael Buffer for the official particulars. Ladies and gentlemen, after six grueling rounds of heavyweight championship boxing here at Staples Center, Los Angeles, the bout is called to an end. Referee Lou Moret, acting on the advice of Dr. Paul Wallace at ringside, has called a halt to the contest because of severe injuries suffered by Klitschko. The winner, officially at the end of six rounds by TKO victory and still